I don't like when that slaps, but hey, let's do it. We're doing the theater room tour. All right. Because for some reason people keep asking, even though I pretty much have already done it. So hello, I'm Julian. This is my theater room. I don't own the room. I just own all the stuff that's inside it. Goddamn heater. Um, so this is the room. Uh, on this side you'll see the shelf. From top we have box sets, both DVD and Blu-ray, and we have some VHS as well. Uh, then you go down, you have the alphabetical collection of the Blu-rays. Um, and I'll show you the specific collections kind of as an example in a bit. Um, and then you have the DVDs at the bottom. Um, in the middle here, you have an exercise bike. I don't know why, it's just here. Uh, we got a fan because sometimes it gets hot in here during the summertime, and also it can cool down my uh, AV box, which is really convenient. Um, I guess above you there's a vent, which is for the aircon, and then for the other side there's a tiny vent for the heater, and I hate it. Uh, but it's actually really good for warming up the place, so sometimes mum will actually leave the um, clothes horse in here to you know, dry the clothes in the winter. Hello, Indy! Conveniently, because the couch is there, you can still see the movies, so it's all good. Um, so here's the whole display. Um, we've got our tub of crap. I don't even know what's in there anymore. Probably just a bag full of old toys we used to have as kids. Um, we have some outputs and extra stuff for if we want to connect our laptop or PlayStation or Xbox, whatever console we have. Um, of course, you've got your front speaker, you've got your... Uh, AV box which connects to everything. Uh, it connects through 4K, through Dolby Atmos and Vision, DTX, all the good stuff pretty much. It has a bit of problems when it comes to overheating sometimes and it'll just switch off if the volume is too much or if there's too much power going through it. Sometimes uh, 4K example, for example will just, it'll just kill it if it's too much audio or if there's just too much power going through it which is, it sucks but you get used to it, um, so that's fun. Uh, in terms of 4K, we have uh, my Sony 4K player. No, I do not know what the hell the specs are and whatever, like like the actual like little names for all these things are. I'll put it in post, but I don't need to memorize it. I'm not that tech savvy to be like, look at my Denon McThingy McJingy, yeah. Here's a 4K TV, it's what, 60, is it 55 inches? 55. I think it's 55, this one's 55 inches, the one up there is 65 inches. My parents like to brag, I guess. Not really. They've got more space out there for it. Um, and of course I've got the speakers which connect all throughout the room. Um, there's only the four speakers, so we can't get the Atmos through the roof, uh, which I don't care because I don't like Dolby Atmos anyway, I prefer DTX. Um, yeah, and then I've got my extra Blu-ray player over here. So this plays 4K, Blu-ray, DVD, etc. Um, this plays uh, Blu-rays, but it can play region-free Blu-rays, so I can play my Criterion and pretty much anything from a different country that's region A or C, given that the 4K player can only play region B Blu-rays. Um, it can also play special DVDs as well, which is convenient, especially for someone who's just come back from Japan with special DVDs. Um, and below it is the 4K box, and uh, not the 4K box, my uh, Foxtel box, and a subwoofer, I guess. And this one's a DVD VHS player that I don't have plugged in because I don't need it plugged in. But um, it has VHS, which is convenient because it's the only thing that we have in the whole entire house that plays VHS. Um, then moving on, we've got a, a box of crap. Um, sorry, Nintendo. Um, we have my dad's collection of vinyl and CDs and figurines and box sets. So if you think my Blu-ray collection is immense, I think Dad's CD collection is a bit more crazy, but he's been collecting this stuff for like, what, 30 years now? Um, probably longer actually. Some of these vinyls he's had since he was a kid and he's in his 50s now. Um, but yeah, and of course, so we've got some cool pictures of one of the Beatles, one of a dude, I think it's James Dean. Yeah, it's James Dean. Um, and the Batmobile, which is mildly broken, but still pretty decent condition. And pictures of me and my brothers as babies, because that's 
Always relevant. Okay, moving dogs. Moving. Moving. We have dogs. Of course, you've got Rexy, the old fart, and Indy, the bitch. Uh, then we have the piano, um, where you have Mr. Potato Head, our most prized possession in the whole entire household, worth over a billion dollars, and we don't know where his uh, feet went, um, because he's a potato and he's a head. But how is he a potato and a head at the same time? We don't know. It's, it's, it's weird. Anyway, uh, of course, picture of me and Sam's kids from our, got our German trip behind us, some football stuff, chess and musician thingies, my parents, more trips overseas, a lot of football stuff. I don't know why, apparently people in our family like football. I don't care for it, but hey, Richmond's our team, our family team, I guess. It's, it is for Sam, uh, for Noah and Dad, so good for them. Um, so they can brag about that. Um, and the piano that we've had for too long, um, and works still pretty well, actually. <coughs> And I have forgotten how to play it because I stopped doing music when I, you know, graduated from high school. Yes, we have a pile of shit on the floor. We, we get it, cameraman. Jeez. It's just stuff. And ignore it. I've got DVDs I'm trying to get rid of. All kinds of stuff. So sometimes we have people come over and play it. Not very often. Doggos. And um, then, of course, we have a big-ass Ottoman couch, which is very comfy and is pretty decent to sleep on. Um, yeah, actually, that's not bad. Um, oh, big ass poster of walls. Yes, it's a poster of walls, not a wall of posters, because we don't go with no ordinary names in this room. I mean, it is a theatre room, yet there is no theatre here. There is only a TV. So, take that as you will. Um, of course, I mean, not all these posters are mine, I think, from the majority of dads. My ones are... The two John Carpenter ones, They Live and Escape New York, which I got on my 4K box sets. Um, I got, I think, I think the Clockwork Orange one is mine. Um, Dad has Dracula, Dad has uh, Apocalypse Now, and the two be the four Beatles images, plus the long-ass Metropolis poster, uh, and the Phantom of the Opera, I think it is. Yep, Phantom of the Opera down below. Terminator 2, I think, is mine. Um... Hello, Snoopy. The whole gang's here. Can we make an episode of Friends now? Um, Casablanca is dads, Beatles is dads, all the signed autographs are dads, even though I was there when they were all signed. Space Odyssey is mine, Marilyn Monroe is dads, same as the other two posters on the other side. I don't even know who they are anymore. Who's the one on the door? It's a, this, they're two actors. This guy can sing a dad, I think one's, is this? This is that dude. That's the other dude. That's us meeting um, Captain Kirk. I don't remember who these. What? I don't remember who that guy is. Maybe a dude. I, f I feel bad for not remembering. I know who this guy is. What's he from? What's he from, Snoopy? Wait, where is his collection? Do you know where his collection is, Snoopy? He has a collection here somewhere, doesn't he? Um, bugger. <laughs> I think I've. I don't know if I've... Oh, Bogart. It's Bogart. I knew that. I've watched Casablanca once. Um, of course, we got Cooper, a.k.a. Carl McLaughlin, from uh, Twin Peaks. He's my favourite. Um, <laughs> my, most, my most prized possession. It only cost me 50 bucks. It's pretty, it's pretty good. They got a, a Twin Peaks live event thingy. Had to... Bought him in his current state and had to drive him all the way from St Kilda to our place, which is like... Actually, we had to go to the Preston Reservoir area to pick up Noah, who's on the camera. And then we had to drive all the way back to our place, which is was like an extra hour away with him in the car. It's very strange. Um, lastly, poster-wise, we have the Star Trek in the Darkness one, signed by Benedict Cumberbatch, uh, back when Dad and I met him in 2014. And above that is our first Comic-Con uh, poster. We've got Patrick Stewart, met him, and he, of course he signed it. Uh, we've got Mitch Pileggi, who also, we met him, he signed that. And a comic book that my dad bought when he was a teenager, signed by Stan Lee. Um, my memorabilia from that is my old iPod was signed by Stan Lee. I've got that framed as well. Because it's like a, like a 10-year-old iPod. Why would I still be using it? Um... What else do I have to show off? We have floor and carpet. We have more doggos. 
we have a bench that has so many remotes and two of them don't even work in this room. Don't ask me why. It's Snoopy. I guess lastly for the, oh yeah, for the appeal of bragging right, take a look at the lights. Look, they dim. They do, of course, uh, you know, turn off as well. That's just kind of how it goes. And if completely dimmed, and then you turn it off, and then you turn up, you scroll to the top, you turn it back on again. Oh, it just does it automatically. Okay, that's annoying. Doesn't it usually undim itself for me? Oh, no, isn't it? When it's down, you turn it off, you turn it back on, it starts bright, then it dims down. I'm an idiot. Um, lastly, of course, we have the film shelf order, which is a four-page list that needs to be updated as of over a year ago, um, given that I made it a year ago. Uh, we've got Blu-ray section and DVD section, and it just goes through all my different, all the different like directors and collections I have. You know, you got your Marvel Cinematic Universe, you got Stanley Kubrick and David Lynch, you got The Beatles and Tarantino, you've got Alfred Hitchcock and Elvis. You don't have to video the whole entire thing, there are too many. <laughs> I think we get the point, yes. I've, I had to scribble in a whole bunch more because some of them I didn't realise were actually, like I didn't remember that Tintin was directed by Steven Spielberg. Outside of his most famous films, like from the 80s, it's really hard to remember which one's a, Sp a Spielberg film. Except for Ready Player One, because that was a nightmare to watch. Anyway, um, yeah, uh, of course, this is always a work in progress, because outside of the fact that I always keep the box sets up the way to the top, we always have people taking down the box sets, like The Office, which I've lent the first two seasons to a friend. We've got the James Bond one, which I don't even have a spot for it yet. And my Miyazaki one, which has been taken down because Dad is currently watching some of the Miyazaki films. Ooh, what is Indigo barking at? Indy? Is Sam home? I think Sam's home. Mm, good, it's, it's just Sam. Um, obviously I've still got some empty slots, which is good, means I always have more stuff to fill up. Um, the obvious problem is the fact that I'm gonna eventually run out of space, so that's why I'm kicking off a lot of Game Rave, a lot of Blu-rays, so that's why I've got some slots missing spots as well and the hanging out DVDs are the ones that I plan to watch that I haven't watched yet or that I need to watch for certain reasons. Thank you Sam. And in, I guess in reference for these DVDs, DVD shelf is the hardest one to do because you've got to get in your, you got to get in your knees like at least the Blu-ray all you got to do is reach up. So eventually I'll be chucking all of them into the actual slot. I'd prefer to watch them first because then I don't have to take them out of the slot again but you know. Perfectionism's a bitch. Um, yeah, so that's just how it all goes. You got your Blu-rays, you got your DVDs, you got your music, you got your TV, and I'm pretty happy with it all. I mean, I, it's comfortable. I like it. The AV box pisses me off every now and again because of, you know, it switches itself off, which is annoying. I've learned how I've learned how to adjust to it, and of course, it's a blind, I guess. But I mean. Last time I checked, when you lift it up, you hear the screams of the dead. And that's too many screams of the dead. Okay, cool. <laughs> Who needs sunlight anyway? Vitamin D? What is that? I don't know. Cool, so this has been the theatre room tour. So many films and TV shows. Um, in terms of counting numbers, uh, DVD-wise, we have, I'm certainly have over a thousand DVDs. I don't own them all. Don't, don't, don't put that on me. Uh, that is, the DVD is more or less a collection from the past 20 years. Um, I probably own 5 to 10% of them. Uh, the Blu-rays, on the other hand, I, pro I think I'd say 95% of them are mine. Um, because I prefer Blu-ray and 4K format. Box sets is a mixture between myself and Dad because, I mean, why wouldn't it be? Um, yeah, and that's, that's, pretty much, that's pretty much the whole room. Um, like I said, it's always changing, and by always changing, I mean this always stays the same, and that always changes because I'm always getting more Blu-rays and DVDs. Because why not? I like my movies. Cool. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this theater room tour. It's not very big. It's not as immense or crazy as some people do where they have their individual seats with cup holders like they actually want it to be a movie room. It's like, dude, this is like 
if I want to have a party, this is the room I bring everyone to because outside of the fact that ventilation is horrible, um, <laughs> I'm kidding. We could, you know, you could always open up a window and stuff. Like we've had Noah's birthday party in here before. We had his mates in here playing video games, watch Scooby-Doo in here because he's a child, I guess. He's like, what, eight? Are you 18 now? Fuck. Um, what? I got Phil and Ted's birthday. I just got that yesterday. I'm doing it from my Keanu Reeves review, which would have come out by this stage, so feel free to watch that. Um, yes, I do buy a lot of the films I do reviews of. Thank you for looking at my crotch region, Noah. Yes, I bet that was enjoyable. Yeah, for some reason that wouldn't fit into the slot properly. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't really think there's anything else to add. Do you think there's anything else to add, Noah? What, I'm wearing my socks. What? It's a lazy Friday. I don't have work today. I can do whatever I want. I don't know what you're looking at. Um, yeah. Um, I don't really think there's much else to say. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe for more, I guess. I mean, there's always new videos coming out. Got more reviews coming out. More, not reviews, but like actor reviews and DDoSs and stuff. Yeah. Um, and if you do want to actually see what director collections I have, I do, I'll link them in the description and probably on screen now because I have collections for my Blu-rays, for my 4K, and for my DVD, all, and my box set as well, all done in previous videos. So, cool, have fun, enjoy, goodbye, my hands, say goodbye. There we go.